I'm curious how well this generic carburetor rebuild kit compares to a genuine kit from Keegan. So today, let's test and see if the huge price difference is worth it. First, we'll break down the contents of the kits. Surprisingly, the generic kit comes with quite a bit more than the genuine one, including a spare float, some much needed pieces, and most importantly, these mid-body gaskets that for some reason Keekin doesn't even offer. The generic parts all fit really well out of the package, but I'm concerned if they're made of fuel-resistant materials, and the seller wasn't particularly helpful with that information. So I'll test them by soaking both kits in some ethanol blended fuel for 24 hours and see how they react. Checking fitment now, it's clear the generic parts swelled quite a bit. The genuine gaskets did too, but not nearly as much, and that goes for all of the parts in both kits. Next, I boiled everything to evaporate the fuel and see if they would return to their original spec. The generic parts were about a 90% success, but remained slightly deformed, as were all of the genuine parts perfectly returned to their respective sizes. This is an undeniable quality difference that confirms the rubbers are not as resistant to fuel in the generic kit. Now, I'll rebuild this carburetor with the generic parts, and let's skip ahead a few weeks to see how it's doing. The bike is running strong. I took the float bowl off and the gaskets surprisingly held perfect form and everything looks to be holding up well so far, but only time will tell how long it'll last. Let me know in the comments, would you run a generic rebuild kit on your bike? I hope this helps and ride safe.